Here at the V&A waterfront, taking the afternoon off because I'm due a bit of leave. So I'm making my way to the Serenity Cruises boat, and this is the boat I bought a ticket to go on. It should be leaving at about half past one. So let's take a stroll down there. This looks like a big customer. Hi there, sir. Hey, how are you doing? Doing well in yourself. All right, you want to check yeah. my ticket and my wrist? Yeah, <laughs> yes, please. Um, that's the one. All right. And then, oh. can I put some hand sanitizer? Yeah, okay, sure, sorry. go for it. Sorry, perfect. Yes. Thanks very much. And you're welcome. <laughs> Sorry, may I pass? Thanks. Thanks very much. Cool, alrighty guys, just two minutes of your time. Just a little quick safety briefing and introduction to the boat. First of all, welcome to Serenity to One. I'm Dylan, the sales keeper Hilton. Over there, our barman Daniel. Alright, we'll be taking care of you for the hour. Uh, safety wise, guys, more than enough alcohol. As well as life jackets, alcohol you find with me or Daniel, life jacket and a need to seat wherever you see this green demarcated sticker. Alright. Um, unlike the event of emergency, I give you a life jacket, a bottle of champagne, we jump inside the big white thing over there, not Hilton, the life raft, and we carry on. Alright. Hey, everyone got that? Cool. You guys in the it. corner? You good? Alrighty. Um, walking around the boat, guys, golden rule, one hand to the boat at all times, other hand to your drink. Alright, we've got a toilet on board over here, use it as a ladder going up and down there. Use it as stairs, you're more likely to slip. You slip and fall, I'll come and help you, but I'm probably going to laugh as well. Okay, guys, we are on the water, so if you're a bit unstable, please, um, well, just sit down and be humble. Alrighty. Um, not really. How to wear this life jacket, guys? It says front, little light faces forward as well. Alrighty. Just pop it open over your head. Very simple tip in front. Kick it in. Make it nice and tight. The two long lines, these are the most important. You just let them hang loose. Just joking. Alright. Two long lines around your waist. You come back in front. You make sure you tie your lines tight. So that's one, two. Make it nice and tight. You repeat that to make sure you're 100% safe. Alright. COVID rules still apply when jumping into the water. Masks on and 1.5 meters away from each other. Alright. If you are feeling seasick guys, please do not go to the toilet, it just makes it uncomfortable. Alright, you'd rather just feed those fish, I'm walking out you some toilet paper and some water. Alright, you're more than welcome to go to the front, please go to the front, it's very nice out there, there's also whales, dolphins, sunfish, seals. Alright, so keep an eye out, that is a working line. Well, it's a perfect day for a... Oh, Last time I did the Esperance, which is the schooner, it's got, you know, it's just a sailboat. But it stays in the harbour. Yeah, but it's, it's going out again on Saturday. Is it? Yeah. Are you on holiday yourself? No, I took the afternoon off. I've got too much leave. Are you a local guy? Yeah, I live in uh, Somerset West. Oh, I used to have a place out there once. Yeah, it's nice out there. Oh, surrounded by all the mountains so and stuff. That's for sure. Like the These are the Cape Coast guys. They're not lazy. They're just you see the one? You see them? You see the one? You see the one? Just getting out the cold water, they can grow quite quick. They can weigh to about 210 kgs. That is about the weight of my stepmother. They can jump about 2 to 3 meters out the, out the water. So these ones live here, they live around the harbor and inside the harbor. They feed a lot from the fishing trawlers. They come in and dump their ice. A lot of uh, leftover fish inside there. But they do hunt as well. You'll see them eating lobsters. Uh, octopus. And it's all cheap. One of those. Bit of politics happening there. No social distancing happening there. How about? How about? How about? Nice. Very friendly in the water. You can stalk with them. They're very curious. Outside the water, if you approach them, they're a bit more dog like, they feel uncomfortable, so they'll bark and might, might, might even bite. 
The word is dead. If they're under full speed, they'll be doing about between 22 knots and uh, 25 knots. For them to come still, it takes about. I read, sure. they, they, I read once it takes like 70 kilometers for yeah. them to actually. It takes come a couple of a long time, yeah. It's crazy. So this is not even a big one. No, some of them uh, that come That's here. Right. They are huge. Yeah, uh, some of them that we deal with are about 2,800. We call them TEUs, 20 yeah. foot equivalent units. So a 40 foot is a 2 TEU. Gosh, that's insane, isn't it? Look at that. Now, those uh, 20 foots are usually carrying about 21 tons, right? And the container weighs 2.3 tons by itself. Now, the, the 40 foot, the container weighs 3.4 tons. And usually they don't put more than 24 tons in there. That's a lot of weight, eh? Yeah. It's that's crazy as that's everything can float. That's man. impressive, isn't it? Are we sitting right on top of it here? And they've all got um, seven, uh, a sequence of numbers. So it's four letters and then seven numbers. And then usually we can identify which shipping line it is by the, the four letters. Where is it the boats that go through uh, the Strait of Aden? They've all got barbed wire around the side of them. Is it? Yeah. Is it the yeah. Hold on. Now we're going to cross this wake. Let's see how this goes. Yep, we're getting a bit wet. Not too much. Now these things are stacked in accordance with which port they're going to. Okay. So like if you want to change it from Cape Town to Port Elizabeth, it's actually not that easy. <laughs> so they can move the containers around at sea and reshuffle them like a Rubik's Cube. Yeah. A bit like that. Yes. Amazing. This is our South African research ship, but she's also an icebreaker. Yeah. Blue roof, yellow bullion to the right, that is table by hotel. 
five star hotel that one. Second oldest one over here as well. Many famous people that have visited Cape Town have stayed over there, such as Snoop Dogg, uh, Justin Bieber for those who care, Manchester United, uh, Michael Jackson, Oprah Winfrey, myself. Uh, the one with the shark on over there, it's a private boat. They do help, uh, such as whales, dolphins, anything that's caught in trawler nets, or anything that I can touch It's also for private shorts. Yeah. All the colorful boats, those little the chuckies, they go out to the deep sea about six weeks or until they pull a tuna. Uh, each color represents a different family. <laughs> There was one called in Bilo there just now. Uh, yes, I want some Durban. Okay, in Bilo. Mirage 760, biggest sailing catamaran we have in the water at the moment. 760 long sweep, take 120 people BC before Corona. Now she probably takes about 70. Maybe even 60. Um, to hire her privately, we're looking at about 30 or 80,000 per hour. Birthday party, travel party, divorce party. Um, able just to take a seat so the skipper can just see where we're driving over there. Two more rides, you guys, as you can see, we're now coming towards the end. I'm just going to ask you just to remain seated or hold on while we dock. Myself or the captain will let you know when it's safe to disembark. Did you all enjoy it? <laughs> you like my office? <laughs> Alright, yeah, if you did enjoy it guys, we are on Instagram as well as TripAdvisor. Go leave a little comment or picture over there. You're welcome to use our names, Dylan, Gilton and Daniel. For any good comments, if you're going to complain, Jeff, Charles and Craig. Alright, guys have a lovely day. We do have a small tip on the way out. If you've got bills to pay, you can just pay at the bar on the way out. Have a lovely day. Remember your boss. Thank you. Yes. 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 Thank you very much. Cheers, cheers. It's a pleasure, sir. Have a look. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Oh, I don't want that. Yeah.